They know that you're a porn star. They know that you're a sex worker. So they're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're in there. Yes, guys, we'll tell you whatever you want. But not if you listen to man school. We want a girl that's experienced. No, we want a girl that's experienced only for sex. But that's what. But when it comes to a relationship, a girl that is that we're going to take seriously, we don't want her to have any experience. The fact that you're setting these boundaries that you're just not going to do this is the thing that makes you susceptible to getting caught. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Why do you not see yourself ever being able to fall in love with a woman? You said that you would have love for one, but never fall in love with one. Um, because all rationality and objectivity goes out the window once you fall in love with a woman as a man. And that's when you open yourself up and you become susceptible to making really bad decisions like hitting a woman or attacking a woman because of your emotions blinding you. But men are really good at being stoic. So they they're, they should be able to like... You lose that stoicism once you fall in love with a woman. I don't think so. You do. Because the reason why is because men love women for real. Like, we don't love women. Here's where he's right. And I'm always going to give credit where okay. I've said this thousands of times. You never let emotions have a seat at the table when you are making decisions. Because what he's actually, what he's absolutely right by, if you will let emotion to take advantage, to take full control over your decision making, you will always make horrible decisions because you're making them under the pretense of the emotion is how you feel. And that an emotion is constantly changing and moving and, 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 and it's the current is different. So he's absolutely right. But that doesn't mean like the real, it's funny that this young lady was talking about stoicism. Stoicism is if you have a real understanding of, of what your value is, you also are able to kind of make a decision about what you are worth, what you can expect. And so you can love somebody and still decide that somebody's not right for you, that somebody doesn't have the emotional acuity or the mental capacity or the, the, the um, civility to be with you or doesn't have the generosity. If you're a generous person and you're with somebody who takes and who's selfish and doesn't know how to be generous, then it's just, it doesn't matter whether you love them. You just, you have to, so you have to make these decisions despite love. You don't, you don't resist because if you resist love, it's going to get you. Everybody gets got the, the, the one chick that you're trying. I mean, can you really stop somebody to stop yourself from falling in love? No, but you can control the you can control the basic fundamental decisions you make once you know somebody or something is bad. I mean, there's people every day, people strung out on heroin, people that smoke crack, people that did cocaine. They have decided that this this behavior, despite the fact that it feels it's compelling or it's something I have desire for it, that it is not good for me. And real men, real human beings, real adults make those decisions despite the emotion, not without the emotion. And the fact that he thinks he can control that is, is absurd. It's only well, a matter of time. It's almost like he's navigating he can take it to the cleaner. He's he's navigating away from it. Oh, I'm not going to be involved with it, so I'm not going to play. Like I'm not because I because I can't control it. I'm not going to be involved with it, and that's that's not how that works. You can't find love or find be in a relationship and just go. Um, I, I'm I'm afraid of love, so I'm going to avoid it at all costs. And also the subtext to that is that all women are whores and they're all liars. And it's not that I don't know how to do it. They're just all well, that, liars. That's also his 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 defense. His defense is, this is what I think of women, and because of that, I can't this. But you're still going to get God. There's, that, there's always that cutie with the, with the right tone in her voice and the right temperament and the, and the right little sweet, juicy pussy that curves to the, in the right direction and, and all of those things. That just, he is heading for uh, the business. And we have, I mean, how many times I... Godfrey, and, I mean, not Godfrey, but Harry, in the last fucking um, 15 years, have we seen guys who are uh, oh, relatively yeah. the time. in control? And all then the time. Then one girl gets sniveling. a hold of them. How many women like that? Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. 
women who give up everything because they just they they fall in love with somebody and give up everything everything they break all their own rules and they because they just they don't know how to manage it if you don't know how to manage it at the base level you get caught up on it when you get at a high level when you finally meet somebody that you don't want to lose then you don't know how to be willing to set boundaries and next thing you know you're you're all fucked up you're all fucked up and this the fact that you're setting these boundaries that you're just not going to do this is the thing that makes you susceptible to getting caught. Just you, you got to be able to love somebody, have genuine love for them and say, but you got to be able to love yourself more to say that my contention with this person is not good for me. And because it's not good for me, I need to eliminate this from my life for the sole reason that this is not good for me. Well, you, you have to love yourself. You have to practice all of these elements. You can't just yeah. decide that you're not going to do them unless you decide right. to go the celibate route or whatever. That's like saying, uh, well, I, you know, I'm not going to fall in love. I'm going to be in relationships, but I'm not going to fall in love. I'm not going to practice love. I'm not going to. It's like being a boxer and going, I'm going to bob, but I'm not going to weave because I'm not good at that. Yeah. You can't do that. You're going to get caught. So if you never practice these skills of, of communication, of relationships, of opening yourself up to a degree, you're going to get caught at the highest level and it's going to knock you the fuck oh, yeah. out. Oh, yeah. And when you get caught, you go, it, it's this, I've seen it. Disgusting. It's disgusting at how pitiful it is. Um, but it's also a situation, you got to, if you want to play above the rim, you got to play above the rim. It, this is the same thing. Like I had a dude that called in on the live the other day. He was like, you know, I went through a really bad breakup and I'm doing yoga and I'm doing this and I'm doing it. And I'm like, look, let, let's be honest. You could, you could holler at the chicken on the next mat from you. Like there were women around. We're, what we're talking about is, a situation where there's opportunity where you're not taking you're not taking advantage of those opportunities to be social to practice to it just to meet people non-transactionally in a way because you're afraid and at the bottom line is it, the guys get very men get very uncomfortable when i when they when i tell them that you're afraid the reason why you're doing this you and i have said that harry i mean there's been a certain thing where you said and i would be like it comes down to fear now when I say fear, it doesn't mean like, oh, God, what's going to happen to me? But it's a fear of perception. It's a fear. It's a fear of losing of failure, credibility. It's of, a fear. Of, yeah. It's Looking bad, fear. feeling bad. Yeah. Yeah. Of, it's of a not fear of losing being, it. oh, well, I'm too harsh and people are going to think I'm not a good person. Even that will bring on uh, getting forced a guy to be deceptive and so on and so forth. So it's like it's you cannot. You know, just I say the same. I say this about women all the time. I say it's, women don't know what they want. Their pussy does. The same thing is that your dick knows what, there is a visceral feeling that has to be dealt with. But in a society where there are vegetarians, people, ha human beings, have the ability to digest meat. If they're vegetarians, they make a conscious effort not to, for whatever reason, spiritual reasons, moral reasons uh health whatever it is but the point you never lose your ability to con to, uh, to 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 um digest meat it is part it's part of who you are as a person the my point is you got to you have to be able this is why i tell guys not to block and, and there are also always exceptions well, this is why you don't block people's number because you got to be able to see the number right and not pat Panic like little dude Neon did. He sees the number. He starts panicking. Blood pressure going. This is what she's calling. Why is she calling? Blah, blah, blah. All this. It's just maybe maybe she's like maybe she's in a hospital and sprained her ankle. Who knows? But you have made this because you are so you 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 don't think that you're important at all. You have made this about something that is so insane that you can't even you can't even ask why. What well, yeah. what's up? Hey, what's up? I'm yeah. busy. Let me go right back. Well, the other aspect of what he's talking about, especially when he was talking to Neon, was um, yeah, you gotta you gotta be tough with her, you gotta be assertive, and you gotta like you know tell her what it is. And so 
the problem is you got a guy. All of those things true in in reason. In reason, but also in moderation and and at lower levels. What he's trying to get Neon to do is, hey, put this bitch in her place. And he's not capable of that because it's not about just putting zero to 60 because that's how Myron handles it, clearly, because <laughs> he's talking about how he can't handle his emotions, right? So that's really the problem here. It's another situation of some shit happened to Myron, and all of a sudden he's going, yeah, you want yeah. To, you never want to avoid it because you might end up hitting a woman. Like, well, I haven't. I've never been in a situation where I was worried about hitting a woman. I've never hit a woman in my life. I've never, it's I've never come close. Every time I wanted to, which is never. <laughs> it's like it's not a it's yeah. just not a thing if that's not a thing if you don't operate yeah. that way it's just not a thing but, but, but he it's has weird to. if you love what we're doing here go to patreon.com it's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content that's right patreon.com slash manschool202 we do weekly bonus episodes we do listener mail dating tips and also if you love the show you can go back to the archive starting from episode one all the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202 sorry he has to be assertive you want to teach him to be assertive but he has to be assertive in small increments and at small levels as well without getting emotional but he has no myron has no training to teach anyone that all he can teach no. you is no. women suck women he's are horrible still in don't it. trust them yeah he's still fucked up in this he's still getting used he's still running scared worried about a chick what she's what's going to do if he falls victim if he's too weak he's still worrying about and he's teaching this it's amazing to me to well and and I, and I get it because uh, there's an oversimplification. The explanation is oversimplified. And it's oversimplified because you have people who are not sophisticated enough to understand the nuance of this and the, and the, the real aspect of this. It, it all, it, it, nothing is that clear cut. Nothing is that clear cut. And absolutely, it's like when you look at, um, uh, I mean, sometimes me and Harry will watch uh, body language experts. Sure. And yeah. there's never a situation where one action, you know, they, you know, the thing is, if you look up, you look up and to the right, it's because you're lying. They, people say that, but that, that's not necessarily, that may be an indicator of deception, but, but that indirection of that as well. Yeah. It, there's a bunch of things that have to be in place in order for you to make a decision that yes, so if she is on OnlyFans, she's doing OnlyFans. We don't know why she's doing OnlyFans. We don't know what capacity she's doing OnlyFans. Yes, there is certain certainly a red flag of somebody who's doing who's in in sex work. Um, the fact that she's calling him three and four times after she's called him is a is a disregard for the respect for him. I want to talk to you, so you better pick up the phone right now. And if you don't pick up the phone, I'm gonna just keep calling. Fuck the fact that you might be making a business deal or that you might be you make maybe can't get the respect the phone call. You know, respect the fact that I'm I'm um, we're in a situation where we call people on the phone. You can't never not get in touch with somebody if you really want to get in touch with them. You absolutely can make a decision not to, uh, but you will see that calling all of it. If There's I go, I'm going to call you 10 times. I will stop and say, yo, don't do that. Well, I, I, you wasn't calling me back. I don't care if I'm calling me. Do not disrespect me. I'm, I'm going to call you back as soon as I get a chance. Now, if it's if you're if you're in the hospital, then text me. I'm in the hospital. I need something, but don't 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 call me twelve times in a row. Don't call me three times in a row. I'll get back to you when I can get back to you. Just like I would expect you, I would you would expect me to respect your time and your energy when I when I'm making a phone call. It's I would just never absurd. call you. I would never call you ten times in a row and bother you. It's right. just a, a, maybe you're at work. Unless, of course, it's something important, some it's something tragic it that can't wait. Be an emergency. And can't wait it has to be reasonable. Yeah. It just be I can't I you can't, I can't wait because I'm insecure. That's not acceptable. No. It's crazy. No, but uh, this guy's just ridiculous. It's just it, I, uh, man, you wonder. You know, we're trying to be a counter voice in this game, but it's like it's really it's just well, we're definitely swimming upstream. Bit. We're swimming upstream yeah. because anger and and, and uh, outlandish behavior sells. You know, people yeah. falling down, people hurting themselves, wild statements they sell. It's no different than, you know, the sports talk craze, right? The sports talk, the yeah. sports talk craze. It's uh, 
you have these people just they're making uh what do they call it hot chats or whatever hot takes hot uh, takes hot, hot takes yeah and they're making they're making statements that are outlandish just for the sake of getting the audience to go that's a crazy thing why would you say that just to get people engaging but they're not authentic that's what skip but it's also the clicks it's about it's the click because yeah. people people have a tendency to 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 want to subscribe to those to those um you know those crazy Hot well, the outlandish thing, the outlandish things, and the hot takes, those get more clicks and more views, but they're not authentic. And what ends up happening, especially, well, look what happened to Fresh and Fit. They got deep exactly. platform. They got deep Snatched. platform because they kept going. They had to keep going higher and higher with the hot takes, higher and higher with the salacious statements to the point where they were messing with and white supremacists. And then it supremacists. ends up being where you're interviewing a white supremacist. It always ends up racial hate and and you know violence, and it's just. So it's just ridiculous the fact that dudes listen to the, it's it's amazing to me but i mean i get it i i mean i get it you know people are still nobody has there's no shortage of people in td jakes's in pew every sunday after the nonsense he did this this again and again and again we allow people who are abusive to have power over us and and then we don't even call them out. Men, men, men in general want a girl that they can mold, mold. that they can mold. Yeah. Okay. Because the thing is, is that if you don't mold her, either um, the, more than likely the TikTok. man before you molded her, and you don't want social that, media. or social media molded her, yeah. etc. Yeah. We've seen this over and over again. It's like I've said this. You know, I've had a guy send me, oh, you know, if a girl sleeps with you on the first date, uh, she's a whore, right? I don't. I don't recall. I, I mean, I could count on maybe two hands the time that I went out to get smashed, you know, later on, once I understood women and stuff and didn't smash on the first date or at least the second date or something. So when, you know, when you hear Steve Harvey talk about 90 days, it's like there's no way in the world that that would have happened at all. Um, the, the reality is that um, it, it, there's a, I, I get that preferably you could want a young girl that you can you can mold or somebody that's less aggressive, right? Um, we absolutely a good friend of us, friend of the show, Ryan Reese, loves the crazy bitch, mm. loves the loves the 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 toxicity of her you know, flirting with other dudes and running away and, and like, he loves it. And the, the, the biggest thing about the thing that where I was able to help him more than anything was not be to help him change, but it was to make him realize that he likes this chaos. If the girl is, is likes him and she's agreeable and she's saying he don't like her. He likes the crazy one that, because it feels like, it feels like when you grow up in a toxic environment with your parents, you look to replicate that same environment. And so you 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 look for people who are going to be insane, just like you, you, your family members are insane. So he likes that. Once he realized that he liked it, um, it, 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 he was just a happier dude. So because he's now more at peace with it, because he's not trying to, to rationalize oh, yeah. why. Why is this insanity happening, even though I'm choosing it? You know, because it's a subconscious thing. He didn't initially go, hey, I'm going out to get every crazy chick I could get. He's trying to just date whatever he could date. Well, he but did, he kept gravitating. He he, yeah, well, because he found those crazy chicks. The crazier they were, the more attractive they were. Yeah, but One I'm saying that was subconscious, though. Right, It wasn't exactly, until you right, explained right. it to him that now it's very, you know, it's on the surface. He gets it. Oh, I'm into this. So it gives yeah. him more of a clarification and less confusion because you're trying to live up to this i this ideal of a relationship, but you're doing things that are counterintuitive to it. So you're trying to get right. uh, a long term, you know, stable relationship, but you're picking a very unstable partner, and then you're wondering and why it's are, not working. Are not even capable. They're not even capable yeah. of that. And um and and so, but also the acknowledgement of that. Oh, this is what turns me on gives you a freedom that you don't believe because of the fact that now the freedom. So when she's, when, when everything's going great and she jumps up and goes, she puts a, a, a chair through your flat screen and then goes, I'm leaving and runs out. You go, Oh, this, this is, you don't get to complain about it. 
Right. You don't get to go, oh my God, guess what happened to me? And we go, yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't know exactly what happened to you. I told you this was going to happen. I told you that this person was going to act crazy. You knew that. We talked about it. You are attracted to this. Now, at some point in time, you will mature to the point where it, it, it's not going to be attractive. But until that time hits, it will be attractive to you, 100%. This is how you want to live your life. And, he's still and on I'm that. not here to judge that. Uh, some crazy. She was like, I'm left with some guy. And was like, I'm, I don't know. Left with some guy. Was like, I'm, I'm going to fuck him. Not go home since you're not sending me $300. Just insanity. <laughs> God damn. It sounds exhausting. But, I mean, but he loves it. He loves it, Doug. He loves it. And I, and I have to say, look, I respect the fact that he loves it. The problem is that he can't call. I mean, he'll call me to talk, but he can't. He knows that I'm gonna go dog. This I don't. There's a very li there's very limited advice you can give him because all you can do is give him advice one way or the other. If he wants relationship advice, it's yeah. uh, you know, well, this is how you get a good relationship, but you do not, not want to do that. Not, not with this not with her. Chick. So if you're trying, well, how can I? You can't. My I'm gonna, you know me. I'm straight. You can't. You can't get a great relationship with this person. No, but it's, it's not uh, happening it's with her. Uh huh. It's not happening yeah, not with her. He's incapable of it. You're asking, you're asking fish to fly. Let's see here. Women, this sounds like women, a gem. Women do. But women tend to think that men and women are the same. And we want a girl that's experienced. No, we want a girl that's experienced only for sex. But that's what. But when it comes to a relationship, a girl that is that we're going to take seriously, we don't want her to have any experience. And them talking to younger women is really difficult. It may, it may be even be out with friends you got to understand that who you are and the context <laughs> under which you speak to the men matters a lot they know that you're a porn star they know that you're a sex worker so they're going to tell you what you want to hear they're in there because as you guys can tell it's very difficult for men to get sex that's why some girls here can have an only fans and make a bunch of money doing it because men are struggling to get sex so they're going to say and do anything they can to do so now, generally from a relationship standpoint most guys would not take you seriously but to get sex they're going to say dumb shit like i want a girl with experience blah 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 and of course they're going to say that at a strip club I'm wrong, I, but the point is the other part of it is that yes, guys will tell you whatever you want, but not if you listen to man school. If you're yeah. authentic, authentic, and you're credible, and you and you you go, you would go. Listen, you got an OnlyFans. I'm just not interested in somebody that is is in that line of work. I mean, we can hang out, we could have fun, but I'm I, in no shape or form am I trying to have a relationship with somebody. I would, I would say that. Absolutely would say that right out of my mouth. Oh, you trying to say because I'm not, I'm, I, 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 I do OnlyFans, I'm not good enough? Yes, for me. Yes, absolutely, for me, not good enough. For what my standards and are. I, and I think it's okay to say that. Say yeah, I know, because women set standards all day for what they want. Yeah, I, it's just women get to, they have the market value, they have the supply and demand, so they can dictate what they want, but they think that you're crazy for dictating what you want. And that's but just it the doesn't even the matter. I mean, even having that argument doesn't is matter. Not even an argument to have because the fact that I'm not gonna do well. I'm not. I'm not gonna find precious attractive. I don't care how many come how many covers you put her on. I, don't, I, I because it is a there's a visceral reaction to attraction and what you want and what you don't want and so as much as society wants to tell me this it, it's like it's like you telling me i gotta find a, a trans woman attractive no i don't i don't have to i don't want that i don't i don't want one of those i'm allowed to say that i see that they i don't i don't wanna mm -mm, i'm good i'm old school you know, that's my this, choice. This, it's what I want to do. That's it. Whatever you, whatever you want to do. Signaling. It's all virtual signaling because when it comes down to when you're looking at your porn site, you type in what you want. You type in exactly what you want, what desires, what you turn your own. And that's a visceral, that's always a visceral reaction. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.